Hi guys, so I'm not making videos as you have already noticed, um, but I st I'm still reading, I'm still re making reviews on Goodreads, but uh, unfortunately I don't have the time to make the, the videos, so um, <clears throat> I change a little bit. Um, I just review the books and on Goodreads. Um, let me see if I can start again. But uh, one thing I notice is people like book hauls. Okay, so the last two months um, there were v I bought a lot of books. To be fair, more books than I have <coughs> than I can read. Uh, so let's start. Mm. I've bought three books by Adrian Sels Selby. Okay, this is Brother Red. This is The Winter Road. And the last one is Snakewood. Um, they are um, a grimdark uh, novels. They are not um, a series of it's they are solo books so <clears throat> you can read one and then the other and so on um, after checking the video by slowly read um, I, 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 I immediately bought it I always love to read more um, grim dark series and since they are solo yeah more to merrier I also bought four you know four novels by Edward Hard luck. Uh, the first one is not here because I've already read it, so I put it in my storage. But it's the Merkaba Rider. Okay. Uh, this is a Weird West mix um, with um, Cthulhu monsters slash uh, some Judaic mythology and very obscure many of the things i believe most people don't know but it was very interesting to read about uh, jewish mythology and i bought it uh, i also start reading about jewish uh, mythology what is behind and and it was very interesting to see um the connections between those um of the jewish mythology and the, the the all other Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia um, religions that uh, existed before and so on. It was very, very interesting to read about that. Um, I also bought all six novels by Peter Newman, The Fragrant, and um, the other two novels, I don't have it here, but um, it's a trilogy and then there are three more. The Deathless, the Ruthless, and the Boundless. I also bought them. I also bought them, um, Brian um, Nasdund. Uh, two series. I have got now Blood of Exile and um, the second novel, um, the second novel, Queen of Something. I have behind the, the, the mobile, so sorry, I cannot uh, retrieve it. Um, I've bought the first novel. Of Mike Chuckle, We Are the Dead. Okay. Um, they these are all grim dark novels and so on. I've got several other series that uh, have been, been published, not completed, like uh, Garrett Anraha, The Broken God, that was the third book, the Matthew Ward Legacy of Steel, second novel. Um, and uh, Mark uh, Lawrence, the girl from the stars. Okay, keep uh, I've uh, I've bought it yet as well. Then let's see. Oh, second novel of Brian Hazlitt is here. Sorcery of the Queen. <coughs> Sorry, I've bought three novels um, by Sing Shin Liu. Okay, three body problem. Dark Forest and uh, Death's Hand. And <coughs> this is a recent author, um, 
I was introduced in um, Slowly Red and um, and this Discord and so he seemed a, a really nice guy so I bought it the books even not knowing what were what were uh, about I know they are dark fantasy or so so Demon Pink very cool cover and the Obsidian Psalm one is hardcover well or not both are published by Amazon which they make um, great um, the, 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 the pages are very thick and, and they are very white compared to normal books nowadays that use some uh, whitish whitish yellowish if you like Ritual of Blood, uh, Ritual of Bone, sorry, the first book in the Death Sagas. Um, this is the first novel. I'm going to get the second one. I like Axon Manticore's Soiree short story collection. I bought, uh, I've recently bought I like Axon after seeing some pretty good reviews about fantasy returning to the high fantasy that nowadays with people start to um, escape nowadays I see fantasy going more dark grim or using politics and too much politics in the book so this is a return to the traditional fantasy so there is always that the Sandman Slim is the first novel of 12 books, I believe. Um, I'm going to read it pretty soon so I can buy the, the rest. Um, the three novels by Mike Shell, they are very big. Um, it's The Aching God, The Idol's Fall, and The uh, Sin Eater. This is a series of iconoclasts. It's, uh, I believe it's Grim Dark. I don't know for sure. It looks like Grim Dark. I bought it because they were cool um, covers. They were uh, very interesting uh, synopsis, and so I had to to buy them. And the author seemed pretty cool and uh, not into politics, which I always uh, enjoy. Uh, Michael Fletcher novel with um, Clyden Snyder, the, the author of two books I mentioned, The Demon Inc. and The Obsidian Soul. It's Norliska Groans. It's a combination, so since I've got all books by Michael Fletcher, I had to buy this one as well. S. Greg Zahler is, is the... <coughs> Um, a, a film director and um, this is very grim dark I've read it and so there is somewhere that is very dark so I have to bought this I'm probably going to buy the second the other one I saw okay David Madsen two books so far Will I with Dead Rewrite the Storm okay this is, I believe there are four books, I don't know, but these are the only ones that are now out. It's a very born uh, empire, and I've bought it also. Um, Jose, uh, Josia Bank, Bancroft, yeah, the books of Babel, um, selling accents, arm of the Sphinx and the odd king um, the fourth one is coming out uh, and these these are not grim dark or so these are a uh, fantasy urban fantasy uh, steampunk if you like it's about a tower that um, spams so high that nobody knows what's uh, there and this is a guy who is trying to find um, his wife and so he climbs the tower very cool um, it interests me. I uh, saw so Patrick, I believe, uh, making a review, so I bought it. Then you've got um, a trilogy 
Paqui S. Viloso. Okay. Um, I believe the series called uh, Chronicles of the Beach Queen. <laughs> if this was a guy writing, it will be slender <laughs> as uh, uh, bad automatically. So, yeah. Um, the Wolf of Oran Yaru. It's very beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing names, but yeah. Um, very cool cover. The Ikasar Falcon. And the third one, it's the Dragon of Jin Sai Yang. I'm sorry, I'm butchering the names. Very cool covers. Um, I believe it's a strong female character. character. I, I really don't care if the, our characters are male, female or so. Um, I don't care if your writer is whatever the sex is. I don't care. I don't really don't care. I've bought uh, K.J. Parker old novels. Uh, uh, when I believe it was a her and now it's a he, um, it's a pseudonym of a, a guy, I don't care, I, I just want to read good novels that um, ex make me escape reality. So I don't like, um, I, I, of course I know that most novels have some stories behind that uh, resonate with the normal world, like politics and um, sexuality, uh, discrimination and so on. Uh, and to me, that's fine. What I don't like, it's right telling your face, yeah, if you support this, if you go this way, if you, you, you are a bad person. I don't, I don't, I don't, to me that's wrong, okay? So probably there are a couple of books I have that that defend this idea. I always try to buy books that are very neutral, so they can give you, okay, this is one side, this is another side, okay? I choose this one, but this is not, this is not bad as well. Imagine that this is, every, every war has two sides, and each people, each war, if it won by the, the first guy, it, this history will be written by that guy and so on. So it's very, it's very, very fluid, if you like. Uh, that's why I, I'm, I enjoy <coughs> 40k uh, universe and Warhammer because, and now the old Grim Dark Chandra, it's, uh, it's blooming for, it's, it's like that. It's, okay, you have got this, this happens and, they are not judging you, they are not trying to make you feel okay. <coughs> if you support Trump, you are a bad person, or if you don't agree with gay marriages, you are an evil person, so on. I don't care. I don't care about anything of that. If you want to be, uh, if you want to be a, a Trump supporter, good for you. If you want, if you, if you are um, homosexual, good for you. I don't care. Uh, I, don't, I really don't care what happens in your bedroom. I don't care. I want to read good stories. I always say that one of my favorite or writers is Clive Barker, and he's gay, and he writes very, very, very good stories. And some of them are gay characters, and and they are very good because <clears throat> they. I don't know if he, because he's gay he can. Um, if you can make it uh, uh, flow to to, uh, to to the reader a better example. Uh, I don't know if if that's the case, but he writes very good gay characters. I've read other stories of gay characters and they are bad because they are just doing that because it's the now situation. Okay, let me make the, the transsexual character uh, on a book. I, it feels flat most of the time because they don't believe in that. They just do it because they know if they don't do it, someone will probably cancel them. It's just, it's as simple as that. But we digress. So, <coughs> Brian Lee Durfee, uh, two novels, okay. Go read, go check his channel. It's very, very good. I've 
some of the books I've, I've, I've bought are his recommendation. Most are slowly read or Patrick, uh, but uh, uh, Brian Reserve is a very nice, very cool guy. And he, 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 he is a person that really loves books and he reads a lot and gives good reviews. And you may, um, you may, may discover something. Now, another uh, novel that uh, was very, very high praised is Dragon Mage, M. L. Spencer, um, and it is a high fantasy novel. Um, I believe when I bought it, uh, it was only the first one that uh, a solo, but I've now checked on good reason. I was typing the novel, and and there will be there will be a second novel. Let's see. Finally, we've got Michael or Fletcher, Smoke and Stones. Look at that cover. Very, very beautiful. Hessian Bounds, the second novel of this series. Okay. Um, the third one will be releasing, I believe, this year or so. I hope so. Blackstone Heart and She Dreams in Blood. Both of these two... Um, these two novels and these two are part of uh, a trilogy, if I believe. I, I, I think I read that he is a trilogy, both of them, but um, he so far he didn't um, release the last book. So they are very grim dark. Michael Fletcher is undoubtedly the best grim dark writer um, uh, now, a day is writing. Um, but there are, I believe there are others that more, more, how do you say, they are more fan based, so they have more visibility, like Joe Abercrombie or Mark Lawrence, uh, Steve Erickson as well. Um, <coughs> um, both uh, have a publishing company okay, behind them, so they can have more, um, more visibility. And Michael Fletcher doesn't have that. Michael Fletcher, all of his books are printed by Amazon. So they are um, his novels, his series. And to me, that's cool. I bought it. Uh, even if I don't like it, I don't care. I, I support the writer. Um, I, I really jo enjoy um, buying novels from writers who don't go to these companies not because I'm against the companies okay I am not uh, at all um, but because the, the, the situation with the companies is that they will not buy your they, they go for, by trends okay so remember when the vampire uh, all thing uh, broke out all books were vampire related um, when uh, Lord of the Rings broke out, even if Lord of the Rings is a, a old book, yeah, a lot of novels um, rise uh, for fantasy, epic fantasy and so on. Everyone now knows fantasy, but, but, but back then it was a niche, okay? Uh, there were a couple of writers really uh, that, we, that we knew, but then there was an explosion. And nowadays we have a new explosion come on. Look, um, look at uh, James Curry, The Expanse series. Okay, uh, the novels were out. They were, okay, fairly known, but after the series there were an explosion on sci-fi. And, uh, and, and the companies, okay, fantasy is selling, so I went to more. Fantasy writers. It's that simple. Look at horror. Horror was never a really big genre. Uh, you've got Stephen King or Dean Kutzor. Uh, but apart from those two writers, name 10 that are fairly known worldwide. Mostly people don't know. Okay, Lovecraft really uh, is the series because of the series and so on. They spike the horror. But not that there are many horror writers that are known. Uh, go check YouTube channels. Most people don't read horror writers or 
And to me, that's very uh, a bit upsetting. But okay, well, I'm a digressor again. What I'm trying to say is that uh, people follow trends, and and the trend is now fantasy. Simple as that. Grim dark fantasy is in order for a couple of years now because okay, the world changed, maybe due to Trump and the, the all the bad things that people associate with him. I believe the trend was an escape attempt and so a lot of writers start writing more grimdark in the beginning there were of course Warhammer and that's the, the term uh, grimdark but um, Denmark, Lawrence and Joe Abercrombie opened the doors and a lot of writers appear writing grimdark but there were other writers uh, I believe this one Ari Marnell is a, a grimdark uh, reading stuff. Um, and there are others nowadays, like Jay Christoph or Anna Stevens or Anna Smith Spark, I believe it's name, Ed MacDonald, um, Sebastian de Castell, although it's not very grimdark. Uh, but there were before, um, probably more dark fantasy, but okay, you understand what I mean. Richard Morgan is a very good writer, uh, he's, he has a trilogy, that Still Remains and so on, and the, the Cult Commands, this book to observe, I don't know, don't know the name, but they are very dark, and there are very many dark writers being published nowadays, because it's a trend, okay? And so when this kind of author appears, Okay, uh, writing. I, I want to go this way. I don't care. Um, let me grab my phone. Or look here, Rob Ace. Okay, another great um, writer that doesn't stick with the publishing and try to to write his own stuff. Okay, he's been writing and he's he's very good uh, person because he's he's even uh, giving his um, channel to uh, to to advertise for other 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 writers. Um, that's why I, I know Alec Hudson, and then Richard Nell, another great Grim Dark series. Um, more Rob Eyes. Then we have got uh, Michael Fletcher, of course. And so, what I'm trying to say is that I I do support the companies that make these books but I know they go for trends and this way I can read um, some publishing uh, independent publishing companies so I still go for that and I can I can support I bought all books of Rob Eyes without reading one of them okay I don't I've not read anything uh, I bought all Michael Fletcher books I have not read anything uh, Alex Hudson I have not read anything and I bought five books which costs a lot and um, because uh, of the in uh, publishing by Amazon it costs by the page I believe and so <laughs> it's very expensive um, yeah that's it um, of course, yeah, uh, it, it, that's something that we should work on. Okay, like imagine this one, this book, okay, it cost me six euros, or five euros. Okay, it was in promotion, but it, it's not, it's like nine euros, uh, 400 page novel. If you want this one by Michael Fletcher, it costs 30, 40 euros, or something like that. Um, well, okay, let me give me the, the best example. M. L. Spencer. Okay, this is a very big novel. We're talking about 800 pages. This cost me $19 for paperback. Okay, I've... This one cost me uh, $30. And it has the same amount of pages. Yeah, that's the difference between self-publishing and not. Uh, I cannot buy all books published by non-publishing houses, but yeah, uh, uh, if I can, I will support them. Uh, 
it's a big long video so thank you uh, have a nice day